no circus showcased as many center ring attractions as the 1950 Los Angeles Rams. And the Rams answered with the chorus. It was like the Rolling Stones trying to match riffs with the Count Basie Orchestra. This Ram band included five Hall of Famers and exciting long-distance runners like number 77, Vitamin T. Smith. Wayne Walker kicks off for Detroit following the touchdown. John Arnett takes the ball five yards deep in the end zone. The speedy Ram races down the left side, gets added blocking from Dick Bass at the 40 and breaks into the clear. The Jaguar jolts the Lions with a 105-yard touchdown return. That's only a yard short of the league record. The Rams began the campaign on a warm summer night in St. Louis, and there was no sign of any heart-stopping finishes. Against the Cardinals, Los Angeles proved to be overwhelming, a trademark that characterized the Rams in the first half of the season. Ron Smith proved his early value as a new Ram when he returned the second half kickoff 94 yards for a touchdown. Smith's score sparked the offense. Alvin Heyman, number 23. On this play, the Cardinals turned Alvin into a man without a leg to stand on. The next time Alvin returned a kickoff, St. Louis tried to turn him into a pinwheel. Which almost turned into a brawl. But cooler heads prevailed and Alvin Heyman exacted his sweet vengeance by taking this kickoff and streaking 98 yards as the Rams went on to clobber the Cardinals 34 to 13. Now, everyone was happy because what could be better than to be a hero, applauded by your coaches, applauded by your fans, and at the same time be the only man in Los Angeles breathing pure oxygen. But each time the Saints struggle back into contention, Los Angeles would set loose a rocket launcher to burn back the threat. Under a nose-blistering California sun, Candlestick Park was the battleground for one of pro football's fiercest rivalries. Cullen Bryant's 93-yard kickoff return had given Los Angeles the lead again. Cullen Bryant was the Rams' number one pick in the draft. The defensive back from Colorado is making the choice a highly successful one with his sparkling play so far this young season. But on the following kickoff, the Rams' Cullen Bryant parlayed a combination of muscle and speed for 84 yards. And as they say in the trade, that's all she wrote. Bryant, who's listed as a third-string running back, points up the Ram talent and depth that's going to have a lot of coaches going to their hankies this year. And then the second half kickoff really put the Cardinals in a bind. Cullen Bryant, 
the 235-pound kick returner put the Rams ahead 21 to 6. So Eddie Murray, the rookie out of Tulane, who has had such an impressive exhibition season, he was 8 for 8 in points and 10 out of 12 in field goals. His longest field goal was 54, and they say he can put it in the end zone with the best of them. He'll tee it up on the 35, and Drew Hill is the deep man for the Rams. And here we go. And there's that hang time George was talking about. Drew Hill from his own two-yard line to the 15. And breaking away. Murray missed him. He got away from Freedy. Touchdown. What a way to start the year. A 98-yard kickoff return by Drew Hill. The two-year man out of Georgia Tech. And the Rams lead six to nothing. A missed tackle by Eddie Murray, number three. Now with sure speed, cuts back. What a way to dedicate a new stadium. Incredible, the first play, the kickoff, and Drew Hill. 98 yards for a touchdown. Kicks it down to Brown at the five. The 20, and he can fly the 30. Goodbye. Goodbye. And right. Brown out in front, and that man won a gold medal in the Olympics, and only Green can catch him, and he oh. can't. He's in there for the touchdown. Two fastest men, perhaps, in the NFL. Robert Del Pino and Gaston Green. And we're underway from Pittsburgh. Gaston Green from the one. And Green out past the 30, and Good Green on. is out in front, and nobody's going to catch him. Gaston Green, the former UCLA star. Rams down 3 0 at the half, open to kick off third quarter. Tony Horn of 20. Little Big Horn. You feel, look at Morton Anderson. This is why he's been in the league that long. Uh, no need for that. <laughs> and he could go all the way. Under three yards. Rams lead 7 3. Tony Horn. Horn averaging 34 yards on his return today. Takes it from the four. And Horn got a huge hole. He's going out the door. It's a foot race to the end zone. And Horn will score. 96 yards. And Horn backs up three yards deep. And Horn finds the seam, slips a tackle, still on his feet, beats Morton Anderson, and Tony Horn's going all the way. Can you believe this? Touchdown Rams! No flags anywhere. Seattle and St. Louis and Mike March good to see him. He had infection of the heart valve, missed a couple of days of practice, and he liked what he saw in the opening kickoff. At home, it's Chris Johnson, who could go all the way. How about that? Seattle, who lost three times to St. Louis last year, sees on the road the opening kickoff return for a touchdown. Beautiful sun splash day, and this one is underway, and the kick into the end zone being run out by Cooper from four yards. And Cooper still on his feet, gets extra yards down the sideline. Farrow Cooper trying to outrace the Jaguars, and he will. No flags are down. It did not appear as if he had stepped out of bounds. And Farrow Cooper has returned the opening kickoff 103 yards for a touchdown.